I'm sure a lot of you watching have watched this video here about the dangers of hard references. I had a lot of people ask me from that video how to avoid hard references using interfaces. So in this video right here, I'm gonna show you guys how to use interfaces properly and how to use them to avoid hard references. I will show you three examples uh, that are very common, everyday use kind of thing. If you guys are new here, my name is Taken Grace and I make Unreal Engine tutorials and videos like this. So if you guys wanna become a better game dev, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let's get started on breaking them hard references with interfaces. Okay, so inside this project here, I'll just hit preview. Uh, we have a health bar and a stamina bar both of which are on the default, uh, how I set them up in the widgets. So uh, there's no data going into them right now. And then we also have these two cubes that say preview on them. So uh, we're gonna be working with those two things today. And I'm gonna show you guys something really cool uh, to avoid hard references with specifically interfaces. Uh, Cause a lot of people will teach the interfaces but they don't kind of go into the intricate details of it and how they can be beneficial. Uh, they just say that it's better than casting and then that's kind of the end of it, right? So uh, I'm gonna quit simulating. I'm gonna show you inside my player character here, I've added a health component uh, in which I can set my health and my shield. Okay, so that's uh, this is what's running that. If you wanna learn how to make that, we made that the other day in um, one of the FPS series videos. So you can head over there. We want the health information and the component and everything like that to stay inside our player as much as possible because we don't want it out there in all the other blueprints that don't need to know it. So. Um, but a lot of things do need to know uh, the health of our player, specifically our UI uh, needs to know the health of our player all the time. So um, I'm going to show you guys a way to do that without creating a hard reference with interfaces. Okay, so I've made the uh, interface already. Um, I've made the four outputs, current health, current shield, health full, shield full. Okay, so whenever you make an output, that makes this a basically a function that can be edited inside blueprints. Uh, so when you're adding an output, you're going to want to implement the interface inside the blueprint where you want the data from. Okay, so in this case, that is our third person character. We'll go to class settings. We will go to interfaces and we will go down to uh, BPI health, which is that interface that I made. Okay, uh, you need to compile before you can access the interfaces. And here that here it is right here, current health. And you can see that this little um, icon is white. So if I double click on this, it will take me into the function here of this interface. And now I can plug in all the data here. So current health, current shield, health, full health shield. So I'm gonna get all of that out of my um, component here. So we'll get our current health, current shields. And for the Booleans, we're gonna get um, max health and max shield. Okay, current health, just we're plugging in, current shield we're plugging in. And then for these ones, we're just gonna check if our current health equals our max health. And same thing for our shield. All right, so that's super easy, but uh, I want to you guys to keep something in mind here. On the output, we have floats and blue leads, okay? Any of these variables right here are data variables, okay? So the way a hard reference is created is that Unreal Engine in a one blueprint is pointing to another blueprint or another uh, thing inside your content browser, okay? So that's how you create a hard reference. Um, you cannot create a hard reference to these data types because they are not in your content drawer and they're not a specific blueprint to point to, okay? They just have data in them. So we, if we output just the data, you are not creating a hard reference. Uh, let's go into our UI now. So in my HUD class here, we've created our health bar here. We're gonna set all the data in there now, okay? So the way we're gonna do that, so we're gonna get player character, okay? This is a generic native node in Unreal Engine that will tell the player character and player index zero uh, that it wants to do something. Okay, so um, these are really, really good to use with interfaces. If you can use these with interfaces as much as possible, like absolutely do it, okay? You wanna avoid creating a reference, that specific um, player that you need or whatever the case is, right? So you're just gonna get player character, we're gonna drag it here and we're gonna get our current health because that was the function inside that interface right here, okay? So there, now those are all the data points that we need. Cause yeah, most people, you know, they would either cast. So, you know, if I cast to BP, third person character, right? This here is a hard reference, okay? As soon as you name uh, either in a variable or in an interface output or in a cast, anytime you see another blueprint pin here, that is a hard reference, okay? If you have to do a hard reference like this to access something very specific, um, it is still better to do it in an interface because then that's a loose couple situation. You're not actually directly attached to the player. However, the interface is now connected between the player and you know, whatever blueprint you're accessing it in. Okay, so it kind of acts as like an intermediary, right? So, but now with this interface, we only have the data that we need. Uh, the example I gave in the video the other day is, you know, 
you go into a bakery uh, and you want a loaf of bread or you want, in my case, you want some cinnamon buns because those are way better. Uh, you know, hey, can I get some cinnamon buns? Sure, here you go. You know, I don't want to know anything about how the cinnamon buns were made or anything like that. I'm just going to go home and eat them and enjoy my life, right? So, um, you know, but as soon as you create a hard reference, uh, that's you going into the bakery. Hey, can I get some cinnamon buns? And they're telling you everything, like machines they use, who baked it, uh, you know, their special ingredient and, uh, you know, the cockroach they have in the corner or whatever the case is, right? So like now you know everything about the bakery and you don't really care. You just wanted the cinnamon buns to begin with, right? So um, that's essentially what a hard reference does is it creates uh, basically like a coupling or a dependency where both blueprints are going to intimately know every variable, uh, every material, everything about each other, right? And uh, that kind of creates a huge dependency chain that you don't want to deal with, right? So uh, we want to keep that as separated as possible. This is how you do it, okay? With output data points like this. Okay, so I'm gonna grab our health bar here. So we get the health bar, which is uh, the progress bar inside the thing, and I'm going to uh, set percent. Okay, and the percent is going to be our uh, current health divided by, uh, you would put max health here, but um, just for simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna put 100, which is the max. Okay, and then same thing we're gonna do for shield. We'll get our shield bar, and same thing here. Drag that back and actually uh, divide it by 100, because we wanna get that number between zero and one. And uh, health full and health shield you can use for um, health pickups. If you're picking up a health item and you want to check if your health is full, uh, that's how you. That's what you'd use for that. Uh, we'll hit compile, and now when we hit play, our progress bar and our all that should be full, which they are. Okay, so they're getting all the correct data. We did not create a hard reference to our player and our and our uh, health bar. Okay, so that is what you want to do. And then obviously when you update the health and uh, shield and stuff, when you guys take damage. Uh, in your games, uh, you're gonna do the same thing, right? So on any, you know, create a function, you know, take damage, whatever the case is, uh, update health. Uh, we're gonna just get our player character, get our current health and pull all that data out again. So there you go, that helps. Uh, and that's one way you can help avoid hard references. So uh, we'll do two more here uh, and they're gonna involve names, okay? So I made another uh, blueprint actor called name and I've made two functions, one called return name, which is an output. So it'll be a function just like we did in the player uh, character there. And the other one is print name, okay? But these ones are inputs. So inputs, anytime you do an input, it's going to be an event. So you're gonna implement your interface inside the blueprint actor where you want the event to fire, okay? So got a little debug key here. So so when we hit something, we are going to come out and we're gonna ask ourselves, uh, does object implement interface, okay? So we can check uh, and make sure objects actually implement the interface before we run anything, okay? So the interface we wanna check for is BPI uh, actor name, okay? Uh, out of out hit, we're going to break that and we want to grab the hit actor. Okay, so the th actor that we just hit with our line trace, does it impl implement our interface? And if it does, then we want to ask what its name is. So we're going to grab hit actor and we're going to get the BPI uh, actor name, right? And we want a return name. Okay, so we're going to go to true or go to come out of true, pardon me. And we're going to ask this hit actor, hey, what's your name? And then now we have an output with just a data point with no hard references whatsoever. And now we know the name of this actor. Okay, so we'll just print our str uh, print a string here and plug this in, right? And then of course, in our cube, that is the actor we want the event to run and with the actor that we also need the information from. So uh, we'll go to class settings. We'll go and we'll add the blueprint interface for actor name. Hit compile. Now we have access to these interfaces. We're going to go into return name and we're going to add our name variable inside this cube blueprint and it's going to output the name okay now we know for sure that uh this is going to be the same name and it's instance editable so there's different two different cubes on the map so they both have different names okay so senior cube and dr cube all right so those are the two names are returning the names we did not create a hard reference we only got the names uh from a data point that was an output on that interface okay so uh, that's uh, another way example you can do it. Um, another thing uh, we can do as well is inside the cube, um, we can now have an event fire instead. So if this is yellow, that means this is an event which only has inputs. Okay, so we're going to implement event. And uh, so now this event is going to fire anytime that we call this interface. Okay, so uh, you can see I've made a format text node. Um, and then anytime you put the like the weird squiggly uh, brackets, uh, it adds it as an input, okay, uh, or as a variable. So it says, hello, player name in brackets, I'm cube name. I see you have health remaining. Make sure it doesn't fall below zero or you get a game over. Sounds like every tool tip in every loading screen ever, just super unhelpful. Uh, anyways, player name, we're going to plug into player name and our current health, we are going to plug into health. Okay, so now when this formats, it's going to format 
uh, to be uh, whatever our variables are here. Okay, so when this, whenever this is fired, right now it's says preview, so it'll change out once this event fires. Um, however, in our player character, we now need to change this to be that event. Okay, so um, hit actor. We're gonna drag out of there because it's the the actor that we hit. We want the event to fire in, and we're gonna get our print name. Okay, so this is the event that we want to fire. We'll plug these all in. Uh, we can get rid of that print string actually. Okay, so our current health, we can just grab from our health components, get current health and plug that in. Okay, and then for our player name, I mean, just call them Taken Grace. Why not? Taken Grace. Okay, perfect. Uh, maybe that's a variable in here or whatever the case is, right? So you just plug in whatever data you need to send to this other blueprint. And again, these are data points. So we're not creating a hard reference by doing this. Okay, this is the hardest part is getting the target to run events because obviously we want uh, to avoid a hard reference. This is an actor object reference and actor object references are good because that means it is so generic that it is impossible to actually point to something physically in uh, the content browser because an actor is the parent of all objects in Unreal Engine. It has all of the um, all of the functionality for the uh, for the item to exist in the world, basically, right? So everything inherits from actor. So if you have just an actor variable, super, super generic. Anyways, we're gonna hit compile. We are going to uh, test this out now. So we're gonna hit play and we're gonna walk up to our cubes and we're gonna hit interact with it. And it says, hello, Taken Grace, I'm Senior Cube. I see you have a hundred remaining. I guess a hundred health would have been good to put in there. Make sure it's helpful for whatever, we don't care about your tool tip. Okay, come over here, hit it. Hello, Taken Grace, I'm Dr. Cube. I see you have a hundred remaining, right? So uh, there, so we did three separate interface things. All three of them did not create a hard reference. Okay, that is one of the most um, <laughs> underexplained things I think about interfaces. Uh, I mean, I don't know about you guys. I, I find that a lot of people go through the same path. They're learning Unreal Engine and then they, you know, discover that casting is kind of the way to talk to other blueprints. And then, you know, everyone's saying, you know, don't use casting, use interfaces. And then everyone's like, oh, okay. And now everybody's using interfaces, but they don't know, you know, the specifics behind interfaces and why they're so great uh, compared to casting. Um, yeah, the, the long story short, it's a hard reference that we want to avoid, right? So everywhere in your games, you should be doing something like this uh, to avoid creating coupling or hard references, okay? If you want to make the health component in the video, you can click on this video right there. If you want to learn about the line traces, you can click on that video right there. Special thanks to my royal members on my coffee page. If you want to support what I do, you can head over to my coffee page, check it out, and I'd love to see you over in our exclusive club in our Discord. As always, keep learning till you game over. Peace.